Hi, I'm Rhonda Spells Fentry, Executive Director of eLearning Services here at Prince George's Community College. Welcome to the eLearning video panel discussion, Blackboard Wikis. Before we begin, let's explore wikis. Wiki is a Hawaiian word meaning fast or quick. In web terminology, a wiki is an application which allows a community of users to add, modify, or delete content in collaboration with others. By far, the most well-known wiki today is the encyclopedia project Wikipedia, the online knowledge base created by the community of users on the Wikipedia site. Another example of a wiki is Google Docs, a collaborative word processor that allows invited users to add, modify, and delete document text as necessary. You can think of wiki as a single word document that can be updated by many people. On our panel today, we will talk with Professor Jeanette Garrity Gomez, Associate Professor in the ESL Department, to hear how she has implemented wikis in her courses. Welcome, Professor Garrity Gomez. Hi, Rhonda. How are you? Good. Good. So how long have you been using wikis in your I courses? I have been using wikis in my classes for about a year and a half. So it's, it's fairly new to me. OK, great. Yeah. And how are you using them? Well, what I like to do collaborative work um, in the classroom. Students don't love it so much, but um, I like it. It's reality. It's what they're going to be using you know, throughout their college experience. So the wiki has really worked well. In, in it, the end, students really appreciate the wiki because so, of what it can do. Sure. So can you give an example of a project or how do you so use it? So one of the things I've used it for when students are creating a summary of something that they've read. Um, uh, they're working together mm -hmm. and a longer document. Um, I've used it for editing work where they're given a document and then they need to fix any or make any corrections that are necessary. Um, students end up really enjoying it because um, they realize that their work is very clear to me as the professor exactly what they've done. And, and that's a, what a wiki does. It allows you to see who is doing what on the document. Right. So just for clarification, are mm -hmm. you talking about when a group of students are working together to create a document, or are you describing when a student is working on a document to submit directly to you? Well, what I do is um, sometimes I've given them uh, something in groups, though it's always using it as a collaborative um, a piece of work. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really make any sense necessarily. It could be used individually. Uh, it's not that you can't, but what the benefit of in the classroom right. for the students and for you is that you can see who is doing what on a group project. So, you know, if you were having them write an essay on, uh, you know, as part of um, a classroom presentation, you know, you could see who did what in that essay which is really nice because then it you know everyone's on notice that what they're doing is noticed and valued right because the blackboard wiki tool actually tracks contributions it does by and you can so the other thing with a wiki is uh, that students get nervous is because you can delete and they can say well he took out all this good stuff that i put in and as the professor i can compare versions and i can see who's done what, you know, right. and I can say, you know what, you might want to go back to what they had before. Um, so it is possible to, you know, have some uh, concerns by students, mm -hmm. but in the end, they end up really liking the product. And it sounds a lot like the tracking capability of the tool really does sort of introduce this level of accountability that often oh, makes absolutely. students. absolutely, because a group project, so many times people are so unhappy because right. they know, I'm going to do all the work and he's going to get the credit. Well, here I can see who's doing the work and who's going to get the credit. And you know, you can grade individually. And wow. that's really nice on the wiki. It doesn't have to be a group grade. You right. could if you wanted to, and that's definitely like an overall. Right. Because then there's the sink or swim. You know, if everybody doesn't participate, I've done that sometimes. If right. people aren't participating, wow. you know. So there's there's different options with grading. Do you think that 
just because of the tracking feature and now on a group project you really get to see the contribution by student. Does that, do you think that's changed how you grade those kinds of group projects? Um, I, yeah, I mean I think whenever you get an opportunity to look at things you know more in detail right. you um, you know, you know your students, mm -hmm. and usually this is something like a culmination at the end, um, you know, when you have that group project, and you're able to be more reflective uh, on what, you know, what people have done and what their capabilities are. Right. Yeah. Very good. Um, do you have anything else you'd like to add about wikis before we talk about our lessons learned? I think learned? there's definitely a learning curve. There was for me. Okay. I, you need to try it, um, you know, and the students, you need to take time to explain it to them. Um, they might be a little bit more uncomfortable. They're already sort of nervous about working in a group. Um, but again, it's online, so that does take down some of the, you know, that we have to meet in person. You can do it online. You don't right. have to work all your schedules out because that's a huge concern, especially in a community college where you have different, you know, people with different um, lifestyles and schedules. Right, so it sounds like if a faculty member is doing, has group work in their course, this would be a really good tool to... It, it's excellent because you can really easily see what people are doing and um, that is a big part of the concerns of the group project Great. that faculty have. Very good. Um, any other lessons learned you'd like to share? Um, I just think that, you know, people should try it. Mm -hmm. um, you should be willing to um, embrace these technologies because they really are um, there to help us and, right. and um, it, it does enhance that, that activity. Right, and one other thing as I'm thinking as you were talking, I was mm -hmm. thinking about what we hear from faculty is making sure that all of the work actually happens in the wiki. It mm -hmm. would create a different dynamic to group work mm -hmm. because if a student was con creating their contribution outside of the wiki, they may have done some work and not gotten credit for it. Mm -hmm. So maybe it puts a different twist on how we may yeah, I mean, I think, again, that's one of the important things that you really have a discussion with your class about how it works and how you need to use it in the classroom. Great. Okay. Okay, well, thank you so much Thanks, for, for your input. I think it, your colleagues will definitely benefit from your, so. from your experiences. And thank you for joining us on today's session, Blackboard Wikis. If you're interested in using the wiki tool in your Blackboard course, please contact eLearning Services at 301-322 0463 or you can email us at elearning at pgcc.edu. Thank you.